Hello everyone and welcome to Real Estate Daily with the House Heroes. My name is Troy. Every day we go over the latest news in housing, real estate, and mortgage. Today is Friday, the 18th of February, and we have quite a lot of news that are coming out today, unlike yesterday, they didn't have a whole lot. Here's the first article, it's on CNBC, and it's the Rheology CEO, which Rheology oversees several different brands, including Century 21, and he's talking about rates have been going up, ticking up, but it hasn't affected the housing demand yet. And so we're continually seeing that all the way through, let's call it February or today, you know, of uh, February 18th, 2022, we just continue to see the demand that's there, even though rates are going up. Now, I believe that there's just a, a certain segment of the population that actually just got priced out of the market because of rates going up, but there's just still so many people out there that even rates ticking up isn't really changing anything. They are still going out looking for homes and trying to purchase them. Next is another article here on CNBC, and it's going over January home sales. And the January home sales gone up 6.7% despite a record low supply. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, it says sales of previously owned homes in January rose 6.7 from December to a seasonally adjusted annualized rate of 6.5 million units, according to Real, National Real Estate, uh, National, National Association of Realtors, and that's NAR, that's the, the association that I'm involved with or every real estate agent has to be involved with. So we're still seeing that, again, as, as much as Diane Olick and CNBC wants to tell us that it's doom and gloom, we're still seeing that the, it's robust real estate market here in you know, the United States. Next article is from, I believe, Realtor.com. And it says, the major question is whether rising rates will quench the housing demand. Well, I think we just answered that question in the last two. So, you know, we, we're, not, we're not seeing any of that happening. We're, we're just seeing a, just a simple portion of the, of the buyers that are either sitting on the sideline or just simply got priced out of the market. But the majority are still out there and they're just jumping on any home they can get because they know that rising interest rates are going to hurt their purchasing power in the future. So it's going to stay strong for the foreseeable future. Next article here is actually from Housing Wire and it's Freddie Mac rolls out direct deposit income verification. Very interesting. They had surveyed, Freddie Mac had surveyed 35,000 people uh, back about a year and a half ago, and they said of those, 94% get paid through direct deposit. If that's a fact, they would like to use that as ver income verification versus some of the traditional ways. Kind of like that, I think it might streamline a little bit of the mortgage industry, you know, versus waiting for, you know, someone in some department to verify income you know, now we have it where if it's on if it's on payroll and gets directly deposited, they can see it in bank statements as a consistent dollar amount, you know, coming into their, their bank accounts. So that's actually very promising. I, I like that. It will help out, speed up some of the, the things that a lender and, uh, you know, an underwriter has to deal with. And the last, of course, and least is the interest rates here by Black Knight. Now, we have, it's pretty exciting today, or actually this is ending of yesterday. It's pretty exciting to see that for the first time in about a week and a half to two weeks, rates have floated down just a little bit. So they kept going up and up and up. And we know they can't just keep rising in one straight line. So, you know, on the February 17th here, which was Thursday, which was yesterday, we saw all the major indexes go down. 30 year conforming, which is conventional, went down you know, from 4.16 down to 4.11. Then we saw FHA, it dropped also from 4.2 down to 4.15. That's fantastic. So we're starting to see them at least, you know, go down a little bit. I hope they stabilize. I hope that we don't, uh, he get more fears of war slash, you know, interest rate, major interest rate hikes, you know, the Fed coming out and just saying anything and, and the market getting spooked. So this is at least a little bit of, a, of positive news that we're seeing. So if you're out there, you know, definitely, you know, get, if you find a home, lock that interest rate in now. It just, a, this small little dip can, can actually save you, you know, 10, 15, $20 a month over, over 
a 12 months times 30 years, it can, it can be, you know, a, quite a lot you can save. So definitely get out there, get out and, and look for homes and lock one of them up if you possibly can. Now, if you like the content that we had gone over, please hit the like button. Otherwise, hit the notification button. And every time we drop a video, we can actually get notified and you could take a check it out. If you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment at the at the bottom here and we're more than happy to answer it for you. Otherwise, you guys have a fantastic weekend and we're looking forward to next week, the last week of February. You take care.